In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use your IV catheter training kit. So once you've unboxed your IV catheter training kit, your catheter kit will actually come with a syringes, needles, catheters, and a teapot as well. Um, so you can use all of these to kind of practice with. So first of all, we're gonna grab our syringe and our needle. And I would use a food coloring or food dye um, for the liquid that we're gonna use that they acts as the blood. And that is what we're gonna fill the veins with to then be able to do a catheter placement or a blood draw. So now we've got a couple of things. So the green veins, are our open veins and our red veins are our closed veins. So all this means is that the green veins are open on each end. So if we put our fake blood into these and we don't have that kind of closed off, the liquid will just kind of fall out. Um, with the red veins, these are closed. So we, when we fill these, it's like we're giving an IV um, injection uh, and then they, those veins will remain filled. So let's start by filling the red vein. So I've got my syringe, I'm gonna remove my needle cap, making sure that my beveled edge is facing upright. Just like I would with an IV injection, I'm going to place finger next to my vein just to kind of stabilize it. And I'm going to inject straight into the middle. These are great because you can see them unlike with a patient with fur and skin and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna inject in and down into my um, vein as such and with this there's no rush this is the great thing about these you don't need to rush you know you don't have the patient in you know see needs CPR we're in a rush to get to the next patient you can take your time so you can quite literally insert have a feel around where your needle is sitting in that vein or if it's not in that vein um, I feel like it's nice and comfortable in there might pull back a little bit and then re kind of place now I've got three mils drawn up, so I need to give 0.9 to fill that um, vein. If we do overfill these, the water just kind the, the your liquid just kind of comes out and around the vein, which is fine. Um, it's not going to affect um, your skin pad at all. So I'm going to inject there. Fill, fill, fill. Hold off, remove my needle, and now my nice vein in there is filled. I'll show you how to fill the green vein as well. So I'm gonna remove my needle. Make sure you're very careful with your sharps while you're at home. So you can see the opening is right here on the edge. Um, I would just kind of hold it and conclude it. And you can see that it is just like a little tubing in there. Just hold it kind of firm. And this fits your um, syringe nice and snug. So you can see I've still got about um, a little bit over um, two mils in there. So I just want to put 0.9 in here. Measuring again. Um, so fill, fill, fill. With this one, there might be a little bit of overflow. All it's going to do is come out and back and sit around in this um, kind of tray. That's what it's there for. Perfect. And instead of removing that one, I'm going to leave that one in place so that the liquid doesn't kind of just fall out back out of that tube. So here's a perfect example. We could start placing a catheter.